This evening marks the end of spring fling. One local team still fighting for a championship. John Madewell joins us now live with the journey of Chattanooga Christian's softball team. John. Well, Latricia and Josh, you see behind us right now, this is Bradley Central's baseball team. They're warming up. They will play for a state title in about 30 minutes here at Middle Tennessee State. Now, earlier today, Chattanooga Christian fell just short of a softball championship in their quest for that. But with this heartbreaking loss, it has brought the team even closer. Chattanooga Christian knew they had to bounce back against Kings Academy, a team that beat CCS by 15 runs last night. Kings Academy jumped on the board first in the second inning. They added another run in the third off a of sack ply. But in the fourth, CCS's Lauren Day hits a fielder's choice. Savannah Ricketts scored to cut the lead in half, but the Lady Chargers left several runners on the bases in the 3-1 loss. Every inning, almost, we had a chance to win that ball game. And guys, that's what you did for this program. No question the loss hurts, but the Lady Chargers lean on each other. They accept the runner-up trophy with broken hearts. My players just played with all heart today, and they just left everything on the field. That's all I can ever ask. I'll look at it as like a learning moment. Um, this is where your response is crucial. Most teams call themselves family, but Chattanooga Christian truly is. There are four sets of sisters, including twins, on the Lady Chargers. I love this team. I mean, that was the last time I get to play with my big sister, my best friend for the past 16 years. Coach Gray met intimately with every player like good coaches do. She left her seniors with a message. We created a culture here that we're going to keep going. This has been a special team and we're, we're teammates for the rest of our lives. Now the senior class certainly left their mark on this team and helped to turn this program around. Look out for the Lady Chargers next year. Now coming up at 6, we'll be in the game with Bradley Central against Farragut. We'll tell you all about that coming up at 6. Reporting live from MTSU, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9 Sports. Now back to you guys. All right, thank you, John. Lots of success at the Spring Fling. Here's a look at the teams that won. You can see the five teams on your screen there and a look at the individual champions, a total of six from our area. Keep in mind, smaller schools are still competing in track.